meets Allosaurus fragilis, the headline predator of the Morrison floodplains. Named in 1877, its story is pieced from quarries across the American West. Scientists still fine-tune its official name-bearing specimen because the original is too scrappy, so a sturdier neotype has been proposed to lock things in. Time travel window? 156 to 147 million years ago, late Jurassic rivers, lakes, and seasonal woodlands. This hunter stands about a bus long. Average adults hit 8.5 meters, giants neared 9 to 10 meters. Its skull is tough yet not a bone crusher. The jaw muscles were modest compared to a T-Rex, but the neck was the powerhouse. Wide gape jaws, serrated teeth, and three clawed hands set up a slash and tug game plan. Basically, they ate whatever they could catch or carve, young sauropods, ornithopods, and the occasional carcass. Biomechanics point to a hatchet slash and tug routine. Bite hard, yank with the neck, then step back to tear off chunks. And while some pathologies and bone beds hint at animals gathering at kills or maybe even moving in groups, there's still no solid proof of true pack hunting. Home was a patchwork. Rivers, lakes, mudflats, semi-arid uplands. Seasons swung between wet and dry. Neighbors included Stegosaurus, Camarasaurus, Apatosaurus, Diplodocus, plus other predators like Ceratoris and Torvosaurus, a busy food web. Similar aged ecosystems in Portugal show close parallels. Senses? Theropods like Allosaurus likely had good smell and sharp vision for tracking and timing ambushes. Allosaurus fragilis fades from the Morrison record as habitats shift and sediments stop preserving it in North America. There is no single doomsday event. Local ecosystems changed long before the end of the Cretaceous extinction. Its fossils, especially articulated skeletons and scarred individuals, reveal how these predators fed, healed, and competed. Today, museums around the world present Allosaurus as a signature Jurassic apex predator, a masterclass in using neck power more than raw bite force.